Right, um, uh, we already know that um, if um, A and B are two different types, then uh, list A and uh, list B have got uh, no relationship at all, no matter how A and B are related. And of course this holds for all generic types, not just list. Now, um, uh, wild card types um, um, address this issue to, um, to at least some extent. And um, what they are is they're a type of syntax that's added into uh, parameterized types. And um, what happens is um, uh, you can um, have an actual type argument as a wild card. And a, a wild card is um, a question mark optionally followed by a bound. And, and um, a bound is either um, of the form extends in some reference type or super in some reference type. And uh, what this does is um, it allows um, a wider range of things to be assigned to that type. And um, I'll give you an example here. We'll start with um, extends reference type. All right, here we've got um, uh, two uh, little classes we're going to use here, um, high and uh, low, which extends high. High, of course, being higher up the tree near an object and low being sort of lower down, just to make it nice and easy to remember. And uh, here's a, a list of uh, low. Uh, called uh, my list, and we've created it there. And uh, here is a first example of a wildcard type. It's a list of uh, something which extends high, basically. And I call it list two. And um, because it extends high, it will accept um, any type, um, any sort of list of t where t is um, high or a subclass of high. So you can set it like that. So you can set list two to be equal my list because my list is uh, low and of course low is a subclass of high so that's fine right uh, huh. by the way when I, I should have said subtype really I'm in class because it would apply to interfaces as well uh, right here's, um, here's a few examples of what can happen um, first of all let's put something into my list like that and remember my list and list two now both point to the same to the same list so we're adding um, a new value in there, and it's uh, low, of course, because it's a list of that. And uh, now if we try and get it back out using list2, uh, you will in fact get a compiler error. And um, the reason for that is um, uh, list2 um, uh, is uh, something which extends high, and it doesn't know, the compiler doesn't know what it is that's in there. Uh, so in the worst case, it may be high, for instance. Uh, maybe a type high, so uh, when it gets something out, if it was of type high, of course, you wouldn't be able to set it to low, so that's why it gives a compiler error. But you can, of course, get it out and set it to uh, this variable high here without any trouble. So that's okay, but uh, that wouldn't be. And uh, if we look at this um, uh, list two, if we try and add a low to it, in fact, um, that will also. Um, give a compiler error um, because the compiler doesn't know which subclass of um, high uh, this uh, list 2 contains. You see, um, although we've only got um, high and low to choose from here, of course there may be some other classes further down that I haven't uh, put in. Uh, it may be one of those perhaps, in which case you can't go adding um, can't go adding a new low to it. So that will give a compiler error and that's the reason why. But when you try and add, the only thing you can in fact add to it is null. Null is the only possibility. As you can see we can um, set uh, list2 to be a, an array list of high without any trouble. Um, that's perfectly okay. But uh, if we try and add new high to it, it won't allow it because um, the only thing it knows about list2 is it extends high, and so it doesn't necessarily know that this has been done uh, immediately before. And it's just obeying the type rules mechanically, so to speak. And uh, that's what I'm saying down here. I think more or less, yeah, the only thing you can do is uh, set it to null. Well, you can get stuff out without any problem, but when it comes to setting stuff into it, writing to it, uh, that's when you get problems, because the only thing you can do is null because you don't know which subclass this list act 2 actually contains, you know, maybe maybe anything. 
you know, I've only shown two classes here. There may be other classes which extend low. If there was another class that extended low. It could uh, that could be the one that's being used. In which case, you couldn't do that. And it, in fact, it doesn't allow for consistency sake. It will not even allow you to insert, even if I was marked as being final. So you never had low. It still would not allow you to insert it. And I'll go into some of the reasons for why it made that design decision was made, and maybe a bit later.